Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to smoothly zoom in and out in Shotcut, a feature that has been added just recently, a few versions ago. Speaking of versions, make sure that your version of Shotcut is 1809.16. Some earlier already have it, but still, get the latest. It's probably more stable. If you don't have Shotcut at all, I have a video which shows you how to download it for free. It's completely legal, open source and safe. If your layout looks very different, go to View, Layout, Restore Default Layout. I like to remove Audio Peak Meter. I'm also going to remove the toolbar so we have a little more space. I'm just going to add a video clip to the timeline by first dragging it to Source and then dragging it from there to the timeline. And now let's just find a spot which we want to zoom in on. Here we go. Let's zoom in on this uh, piece of paper. We're just going to find some better spots. All right. When the cuts happen, I want to cut as well. So let's uh, make a cut here with this button or the S key. I use the arrow keys to navigate precisely. And the mouse to do it more roughly. All right, here we go. So this clip I want to zoom in on. And I want to have a smooth zoom. So what you do is in the filters uh, widget, you press a plus and then let's go to, oh, it's not zoom anymore. It's called scale. And uh, here we can zoom in like this, but that is permanent for the entire clip that we selected in the timeline. So let's set this back to the default. And uh, there are no presets. So instead, let's enable the keyframes. Let's go to view keyframes. I'm going to drag this keyframe widget by its title to the left. So we have uh, these two timelines, as I like to call them, next to one another. I'm going to zoom in with a control mouse wheel in both of them. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to zoom in at the beginning and zoom out at the end. For this, we're going to just drag these uh, dots. I think six frames should be fine. Six. All right. And now we're going to click in the middle and set this to 200. So now if we play back. All right, so that works. We can make it a bit slower. This was quite fast. Let's make it maybe 20, 17, whatever. Uh, 17. All right, let's try it again. Yeah, this is much nicer, a bit smoother. Now I want to position it a bit to the top left. So to also control the position, we're going to click on this icon and on this icon. And by default, these are keyframe type discrete, which is very bad. Why did you jump? Uh, let's just create new keyframes by setting the parameters at the right keyframe to what we want. All right, so but to the left, a bit to the top. Yeah, come on, all right. Let's pretend this is where we want to zoom in on. And why does this one keep jumping? Come on, go back there. But if we do it like this, it's, uh, it, it's uh, like binary. So let's just make sure that they are all linear. Or smooth, but let's start with linear. All right, now let's play this back. All right, it works perfectly. Okay, so now what we have to do is uh, do the same at the end. So we're going to add keyframes at this point. Let's see, can we do this? I guess we have to change it and then change it again. I'm using the arrow keys for that. This one, this one is just annoying. It just keeps jumping. Uh, and hopefully that will be fixed in the next version. And then at the end, we have to create them again. Let's just reset them. And watch out, you're going to jump to the previous keyframe. All right. Man, you need to freaking... What the... Okay, so double-clicking removes them. I didn't know about that. Uh, let me just... Generate... Generate this one. Go to the very front with Alt key, left arrow key. Set this to default. And let's click on a different clip. Maybe that'll help. If we play back now, zoom in and smooth zoom out. So this is how you do it. And if you want to have multiple, 
uh, zooms in your video, I just recommend that you create multiple clips by splitting, applying the zooms individually. So whenever you have a clip that you want to zoom in on, add a filter, scale, and then use these uh, simple keyframe features for the scale amount, and then add the other ones to the advanced keyframe uh, feature. So for now, let's set this again to 200, because 200 is the top zoom level currently. Probably will be changed in the future, or not, we'll see. And then remember to add other keyframes. Uh, let's see now. Keyframe here, and keyframe there. And as you can see, this time these keyframes are discrete by default. Let's set them to linear. And uh, let's do the same. Yeah, let's first change these. Let's zoom in on her face. Okay, and we're going to go to this place. And now we can just arrow down, arrow up, arrow down, arrow up. And then we can go to the very end. Let me just do it with Alt key, right arrow key. And here we can just reset to default, reset to default. All right, let's try it out. Zoom in, a bit too fast, zoom out. And this is how you do it. I hope this helps. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to ask any questions in the comments if you have any, and just search for Tux Shortcut on YouTube if you want to find more of my tutorials, or check out my channel. Until next time, ciao!